not doing good for getting to hit the record button. Page 142, Anna's Monsters. I'm scared of the darkness. I don't care who knows it. I don't like the darkness at all. I sleep with the lights on, two lights in my room, and a much brighter light in the hall. I'm frightened of monsters that might come and get me whenever I climb into bed. My mother says, Anna, you're just being silly. The monsters are all in your head. But I don't think that's true because of what happened last night, the first day of the week. I put on my nightgown, got under the covers, rolled over, and heard a strange squeak. It wasn't a mouse. It wasn't a rabbit. It wasn't a dog or a cat. So I screamed out in terror. My mother came running. Whatever, she asked, was that? I heard a strange noise. I explained to my mother. I was almost too frightened to talk. I knew it was monsters, some big hungry monsters. It was all I could do not to squawk. I don't like the darkness, I said to my mother. I don't like the dark and the night. Can't I get up and sit with you on the couch in a room that's all cheery and bright? Who wants to take over? Fernanda, remember the beat I kind of established on there. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Anna, Mom said, and she looked at me sadly. Do we need to go through this one once more? Last night, and assured me that you saw a monster turn out to be socks on the floor. But right, this one, but this one was real. I complained <laughs> to my mother. I heard it squeak loudly and clear. I don't like the darkness, the monsters will eat me. Don't let me come anywhere near. Okay, Ty? My mother explained that the noise of poor monsters, she showed me some interesting things. For example, I learned that my bed makes a squeak when you push down too hard on the springs. So you weren't, so there weren't monsters, any monsters, or there weren't any monsters. She, they didn't exist. And I know that my mother was right. But what if those monsters had never existed come into my bedroom tonight? Oh, ha ha ha. All right. Now we had a couple words to keep an out. Ty, Fernanda, nice job trying to keep that beat going with there, okay? Don't go too fast on there. We had a couple words to look out for, if you noticed on there. We had the words assured. We had the words, oh, come on now. What are you doing? Let's just do the drawing part. There we go. We had the word assured. Oh, wow. Really? That's so thick. Let's go one point. There we go, assured and complained. Did anybody remember seeing what line or stanza those two words showed up in? Ty, what's, what line or stanza did they sh show up in? Um, um, stanza one, two, stanza four, um, assured. I don't know what, I'll look what line. All I know is that it was in there. Well, you know what the nice thing is? It kind of gives you like these little checkpoints because this is stanza four. You're right. Here's line 27. Line 27. All right. I know where 27 is because I found 25. Here's 26 and here's 27. So there's assured. Okay. So that showed up on line 27. I'm going to go ahead and put an L27 on there. Okay. Uh, Bella, we're on page 142 and 143, okay? You're, you're just getting with us right now. It's no big deal. Okay, we just read the poem. Okay, how about complained? Fernanda, did, I think you said complained on your reading. Where'd that show up at? On uh, phrase four, uh, on number, number 20, uh, line 28. Line 28, let's see, here's 30. Oh, it's gonna be 29, actually. 29. Shut up. Oh, I didn't see that. 29. And I know that because there's 30, so the one below it has to be one less, so 29. So there's complaint, though. Last night you assured me that you saw a monster. It turned out to be socks on the floor. 
but this one was real. I complained to my mother. I heard it squeak loudly and clear. I don't like the darkness. The monsters will eat me. Don't let them come anywhere near me. I just, I wish it said near me on that one. Near. Okay. So what does the word assured mean? And what does the word complain mean? Okay. Bella, assured. Oh, I know what a com complaint means. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bella. That was that was me. That was Ty. Who said I know that. what assured. I know what assured Bella, means. Tell me, what does complain mean? Complain. Complain is something that um that I'm just like I don't want to do this. I don't want to go. You're complaining about something. You don't want to do it. I don't want to go there. You're complaining. All right. You're saying no to a lot of things, or you're saying something is bothering you a lot. Complete, keep on doing it. Okay. So saying no, maybe negative on there. Okay. Nice job. How about assured? Ty. Um, assured means like you know, like I assure you, like I know that that happened. I assure you that happened. Okay. Now, what do we think about Anna? What are some words that can describe her, how, how her character was in this story? What are some things that we can say that describes her on this one? Jacob? Young. Oh, maybe she's a young girl on this one. I also have a picture of her, okay? My guys in the chat box, if you want to, go ahead and put a couple of phrases down. What do you, how can we describe Anna on here? Jacob says that she's a young girl, which we see her right here. And she's got a lot of, like a kind of a kid type of a setting here with the teddy bear and the book. Okay. He's, she's that one kid in her neighborhood who's a little bit of a scaredy cat. All right. So, scaredy cat on it. Okay. All right. I got scared there from Jack. I get that. Let's see. I get that she's probably frightened. Okay. Frightened is a one that I think for Anna. All right. What about the mom? What do you guys think about the mom on this one? What kind of describes her on this? Ty? She's like she's she's the that mom that really cares for their child but also does discipline yeah it sounds like she's trying to make sure that she cares what's going on but she also doesn't want her to kind of be little babied on there i guess is a term we can say on there kind of making sure she's still a little tough on her okay so now that we have anna done what were some things that stood out maybe for a theme wise okay Think about what could possibly be the theme of the story. What is the author trying to get across? We have a little girl that's scared a lot. We have uh, a mother who is trying to help her out, okay, by thinking of all the possibilities it could be. What do you think the theme of this story is? Okay, I'm gonna put right here underneath. Let's go ahead with possible themes here. Okay, possible themes. What are you thinking on here? What are some ideas? Go ahead and put down underneath that last stanza. Go ahead and write down, what's a theme that you think stood on here? And Bella, since I know you came in, if you wanna take a moment and read the poem, you can do that right now. That would probably be a good idea while everybody else is doing this, okay? So go ahead. What are some possible themes that we could put in here? What's something? Now remember, themes are like, uh, some of lessons that you learn on this. We know the speaker is Anna, okay? There are tiny little things throughout the whole story. What are some themes that stick out in this one, okay? After you write it down on there, if you wanna put it in the chat box or if a couple of you guys wanna tell me here in a little bit after you write it, some possible themes on there. We're gonna discuss what themes you thought of it might be.
All right. Go ahead in the chat box real quick. Once you get done, put down what you think it's going to be. Jacob, let me know. What did you put as a possible theme for the story? To show that monsters are real because her mom came around the bedroom showing what all the possible things could be. Okay. So we're talking about how monsters aren't real and then they were other things okay, in her room. Okay. Kai has here, not all noises are real. Family should care. Well, she could be here. Does she, is she actually hearing the noises, maybe? She's hearing the noises, but I think she's thinking other things, though. I, I think the noises are real because... That's what I meant by noise. not all noises are real. What I meant by that is not all noises are made by living things. Ah, okay. So other things can cause noises, something like that, okay? Okay, other things can cause noises. Okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna put little dashes right here so I remember. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, okay. Anybody else have one they're thinking of? Okay, another maybe theme on here. All right, Colton, that a boy. What, what are you thinking? Don't be afraid of something that doesn't exist. Don't be afraid of something that doesn't exist. All right. That's, that's what I like, right? Don't be afraid of something that doesn't exist. All right. That's a good theme. That's a good saying on that one. I like that. Okay. Anybody else on here? Anybody else? All right. Hey. Those are good themes right now. If you don't have one, take a look at what Jacob, Ty, and Colton put down here. They put down some good ones for us there, okay? So if you have one other one, make sure you put that down if you did not want to share it, okay? You do have some questions though, okay? For homework for later, okay? I don't want you getting two going on it because we have to focus on the next round. You have questions one, two, three, and four, and I'm gonna scroll down here. Questions one, two, three, and four. Well, we're gonna do this round, okay? I am going to let you read the questions and answer yourself, okay? If you guys need help reading the questions on there, ask one of your brothers, sisters, or our parents to read the question with you, okay? Uh, don't, don't listen to Ramona there, uh, Fernanda. Ask someone else. Ask Elias before Ramona. Okay. No, did did she hear me? Oh my goodness. Yeah, she did. But I'm not at my house, so. Oh man, I, I would tough it out by yourself then. Okay. So you guys have these questions. You're on your own. I really want you to do them on your own this time. I want you going back through the text. I want you marking things down. Answers maybe to get rid of. Okay, I want you to do it on your own this time, okay? We're gonna go over the answers tomorrow on things, but I really want you to try your best at answering those one through four questions, okay? So those are gonna be all of yours on here, all right? Do I have any questions for what we can do later? Because we're gonna take a moment and shift from ready book to the Greek and Latin, okay? Do I have any questions from anybody? Okay. All right. I want to see it. Go ahead and put those ready books off to the side. I know some of you that's hard to do. Okay. Go ahead and put them off to the side. Ty, I see you still with the book. Colton, put that book off to the side. I'm done. I know. No more book. I know. But that is your job for later. Okay. For later. Let's go ahead and get out our Greek. I, I'm watching you, Ty. For some reason, I don't trust you very much. I don't know what left me. Let's go ahead to your Greek and Latin terms. I need this page out. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay. I need it's gonna be this one right here. The tract. Okay, tract. Mr. Boy, I forgot to bring blue for my house. 
Tell you what, though, you're, you, can you, you're going to write the definitions for me, and then you can transfer them on there, okay? Okay. Okay, that's, on, that's all right. Do you have some, like a scratch piece of paper to write it on? No, it's not enough. Okay. I, do, I have nothing. I okay, have. you made me nervous on that one. Just all right. Sister. No, don't do that. So, let's go ahead. Yes, that one there, Bella, the tracked one. And mine are a little different because we took the two pages and put them on one page. That's why mine look a little bit different, okay? We should have these terms though. We sh should have the, the term attract, contraction, traction, and extract, okay? And I think those are my last ones. So what we're going to do is write the definitions down for each one. We're gonna talk about how we can shorten them up a little bit, okay? And then we're going to put the definitions down in this part. And I'm going to type them on here too to help us out. All right. So do I, let's take a look at the terms. Mr. Rook, can I color real fast while you're talking? Oh, totally. If you guys got your crayons, I would. If you guys want to, as you're listening and doing stuff, but make sure you're putting down definitions too. Don't get lost in the coloring. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead with the first one. We have the first word attract. That means to pull to or toward oneself or itself, to draw by appealing to interest or feeling. What can we put maybe for that definition on here for attract? I'm gonna highlight a couple things here. What are we feeling on that one? to pull to or toward oneself or itself, to draw by appealing to interest or feeling. To pull something or someone to your you. How about let's go with that first part of it then. To pull to or towards oneself. Okay. Now the parts that I'm highlighting the part that I'm highlighting is the part that you should be writing down in that definition part. Does everybody understand that? Anybody have a question on it? So Fernanda, and if you guys don't have your paper with you right now, cause you left it somewhere else, make sure you write down the definition on something so that way you can transfer it tomorrow. Cause I want the definitions for tomorrow cause we're gonna cut and glue tomorrow. Okay, I want the definitions done today. If you guys are waiting though, you can definitely make the magnet pretty. Pretty, pretty. Don't say pretty, pretty. Can we say pretty, pretty? I knew someone would. All right. Now the next one is contraction. Contraction. That's good, Liam. Good definition on yours. I just saw yours on the chat. The contraction is the process in which a muscle becomes or is made shorter and tighter. The process of becoming smaller. So contraction, the process in which a muscle becomes or is made shorter and tighter. I remember the definition I put on this one. The process of becoming smaller. I think we wanna make sure we say the word muscle too on that one, Liam. I think we wanna make sure we say muscles on this one because that's, that has to happen with this for contracting a muscle, okay? Contracting can be smaller, but let's go ahead and make sure we use muscle in this one, okay? We mostly use it on this. Bella? 